I hope you know that you're at Chase Harrison Senior Recital. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be playing some songs for you today, tonight. Um, but but to this evening, this afternoon, whatever. Um, and I want I want all you to know that um, you are definitely allowed to uh, get up and get food during the thing if you want to. You're totally you're totally okay to do that. Um, but I am gonna start the, the tonight with some elevator music. sing later, unfortunately for you. Um, this is one of those ultimate moping songs, like one of those, like every depressing video on YouTube has this as its soundtrack. It feels, I feel, it feels kind of, it feels like repetitive saying the title, so I just am going to explain, explain stuff. Uh, but this is an instrumental arrangement of uh, the song Mad World.
I found as I wanted to be a, like, I wanted, I didn't like other people, so I had to get good at, like, fulfilling, fulfilling roles in performance that, um, that, uh, like, usually other people would take. So how do you fill in the guitar solo? Well, you get a harmonica, and a harmonica holder, you figure that out. Um, so, uh, this is a song by, like, the greatest guy who ever held a harmonica and played guitar and whatever at the same time. Um, this is a song called, uh, Simple Twist of Fate by Bob Dylan. They sat together in the park As the evening sky got dark She looked at him and he felt a spark Tingle in his bone It was then it felt alone And wished that he gone straight Watched out for a simple twist of fate They walked along the old canal, a little confused I remember well, stopping to a strange hotel in the neon burning bright, felt the heat of the night, just hit like a freight train, moved along by a simple twist of fate. Saxophone someplace far off play. She was walking by the arcade As the light bus through a beat up shade Where he was waking up She dropped a coin into the cup Of the blind man at the gate Forgot about the simple twist of fate He woke up, the room was bare couldn't see her anywhere Told himself that he didn't care Dropped a coin into the fly Felt the emptiness inside To which he just could not relate Brought on by a simple twist of fate of the clocks walks along with a pair that talks runs it down by the waterfront docks where the sailors all come in maybe she'll pick him out again oh how long must he wait one more time for a simple twist of fate people tell me that it's a sin no fear too much within I still believe she was my twin But I lost the ring She was born in spring But I was born too late Blaming on a simple twist of fate
famous harmonica player and sing at the same time. Um, it's hard. It's, it's, it was difficult, like picking the stuff for all this because it was. It came, it came down to like I could only have one song for composer. It was kind of get a little boring. Um, so it got really hard to pick what songs by all these artists that I just love is picking just one song to represent my love for that artist. Um, so what do you think when you think Neil Young? You think just like you're walking in the free world, you're you're cinnamon girl, whatever. But I'm I'm gonna go back to. Uh, um, my to like one from when he was in a band called Buffalo Springfield, the guys who did uh, the guys who did uh, for what it's worth. Um, um, and this is a, a song by uh, this is a song this is a song from that he played it live too. I um, mean, it's a song called On the Way Home. When the dream came, I held my breath with my eyes closed. I went insane like a small green day when the wind blows. Now I won't be back until later on if I come back at all. like the peaks, right? Like as far as lyrics you get to, as far as like complexity of music you get to like your yes and you get to the, you get to your really complicated jazz stuff. And then, but, so then where do you go from there? You get to that really complicated stuff and where do you go from there? Well you go backwards, you go way back. I've been, I've, um, I've tried to get into writing lyrics lately and I, you get to the point, the peak, which is like, like Dylan, right? But you go, so where do you, so you go backwards from there. I went back to folk music and doo-wop and like how simplistic music gets. Um, so this is a, a folk song for you. Um, though I kind of cheated here because it is a Bob Dylan arrangement of a folk song, but it's technically not his song. So I, I got away with my, breaking my one art, one song for artist rule. Um, but uh, this is a song called Man of Constant Sorrow.
I resolved to myself to include uh, one original co composition in this today. Uh, this was one that I wrote, must have been about two years ago now, actually. Um, people really kind of attached to it. Uh, I was also obligated. My parent, my dad, really wanted me to use my electric for at least one song, so he's happy. So we're all happy, right? It's my senior. Yeah, this is this and that amplifier are my uh, senior gifts. Were my big senior gifts. So have that for have that for. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is a uh, original composition I uh, I titled uh, Desperation. Opportunity, as you probably read in the um, in the program, if you're cool like that and read the program, um, you probably read about uh, how it has been a joy of my life to be involved in the Ankeny Open Mic Night program, um, which uh, the librarian, Mr. Tom Hahn, started 30 open mic nights ago, and that's that's four ones a year. So that's like a, that's a that's a while ago. We just had our we just had the 30th one was the last, was my the last one as well, um, and. What I, I like to think, what I lack in singing ability, I make up for in repertoire. Um, I'm not all that. I'm, I, I'm by no means a fantastic singer, but I think what I, what makes what makes my makes me playing for people worthwhile is the amount of songs and like the variety of stuff that I am able to play. Um, but at open mic night, there are people who are good at both, um, and I have had the honor of sharing the stage with with a um, particularly great musician by the name of uh, Ryan Lombard, um, who is a 
who is a not only a fantastic singer, but a great songwriter and guitar player. Um, he is far more talented than I could ever hope to be. Um, the, uh, and his, the last song he ever sang in Open Mic Night, well, he sang this one a couple times, but it was a, he sang it at a couple, at a, at a couple different Open Mic Nights. Um, and it's a, a song from Randy Newman's musical Faust called uh, Feels Like Home. And uh, he, um, he, did, he did a really, really great interpretation of it. Um, and then this year at the last of the mic night, uh, Reno Kersey, who if any of you know that name, he is also a just fantastic guitar player and singer. Um, he, uh, he, he sang that song. It would be a desecration for me to perform that at open mic night, but um, I figured that the next best thing I could do would be to perform it here. This is called uh, Feels Like Home. <laughs> There's something in your eyes Makes me want to lose myself Makes me want to lose myself In your arms There's something in your voice Makes my heart beat fast I hold this feeling last the rest of my life And if you knew How lonely my life Has been And how long I've been So alone And if you knew How I wanted someone to come My life, the way you've done, it feels like home to me. It feels like home to me. It feels like I'm all the way back where I come from. It feels like home to me. It feels like home. To me, feels like I'm on the way back where I belong. The window breaks down a long dark street, and a siren wails in the night. But I'm alright because you're here with me. I can almost see through the dark. There's light. If you knew how much this moment means to me, and how long I've waited for your touch. If you knew how happy you are making me, I never thought I'd love anyone so much. It feels like home to me. It feels like home to me. It feels like I'm all the way back where I come from. Feels like home to me. Feels like home to me. Feels like I'm on the way back where I belong. Feels like I'm on the way back where I belong. Fantastic guitar player and. Can you do that for you?
on stage, seriously? No, just kidding. I didn't know if you were up to A. No, that's okay. Are you? I don't know. Put y'all game for your right. Watch you get those two guys tune. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Originally, we were gonna do some complicated, you know, some some kind of semi-complicated uh, guitar harmony stuff. And I'm like, why don't we just play the blues? So we're gonna do uh, a fairly a blues standard uh, written by Robert Johnson. Uh, we're gonna do sucks, kind of a very a variation based on the version by uh, by um, by uh, Eric, done by Cream and Eric Clapton on um, Eric Clapton doing the vocal and doing stuff. Um, so I hope you guys like the blues because this is a this is a blues song. This is this is called Crossroads. <laughs>
One more verse. Run, you can't run. Tell my friend with a boy brown. Perfect. So this is a uh, Springsteen. This is a Bruce Springsteen tune. So we have a lot of time. This will be. This will take up that extra time. The, my parents are probably like my parents. If you, I'm, I'm doing another song, guys. Yeah. Because we have time. We have plenty of time. So I'm going to do. This is a uh, Bruce Springsteen song called Born to Run. Ah, get my harmonica out, actually. Big chase. Ah, the horrors of.
Okay, so now we're gonna have like a 15 minute, we're gonna have like a 15 minute intermission so you guys can yell at me about how bad I did and whatever. Um, you get get food, look at the pictures. It's all books over there. If you just if you if you look for a binding, there probably is one. Um, so you can look so you can look through all of those. Um, food, obviously, mingle, whatever, you know? What? Oh, um, I, I, okay, so I put out a, I put on um, Mr. Krabs tonight um, to play with me, to, to see this afternoon, um, to play with me, and I, uh, what I, so I, but there's one other teacher that's a pretty big reason that I'm here, and that would be uh, Mrs. Ray Jean Bear, who is sitting in the chair, probably is not happy to be here. <laughs> um, so, she, so she is just a fantastic woman. Um, she taught, taught me how to play piano. If any of you have little kids here and you want to get te have them play, have to teach them how to play piano, then she's probably like, she's the best one off the top of my head, and I've only ever had her, so I don't know. But. <laughs> there was one, but other, but we don't really talk about her. Um, the, so it was. Uh, so I just want. I just really thank you for thank you for everything. This is just it's great. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so I'm hoping we're still trying to figure. Hey, Rick. Do you know how to get the t uh, computer hooked up in here? Okay, can you, okay, because we're gonna be screening one of, at my school, um, there in my video audio production class, I make, uh, I make a, I do a little show called uh, Chasing the Sound, which is basically, I look at the Billboard Top 100 and pick a song that I don't like in it, and then I talk, I talk about how horrible it is for five minutes. <laughs> it's a pretty simple model. Um, it's, I'm semi-Twitter famous because of it. Um, so I, we're going to try to get one of those up here so you guys can enjoy the wonderfulness of my acting and writing abilities. So, you can, so stand by for that in a little bit here. <laughs> I got this. I'm never going to talk about her. So, I'm going to talk about her. I'm sure most of you have been waiting the whole night for. Don't get excited, I'm not good at it. I could I, I was gonna do like Mr. Salmon with my banjo with, with my um, man, with my uh, ukulele, but when it came time to cut the set list down, that was one of the victims. <laughs> It's also gonna be like four about villain songs, so you can't always get what you want, you know? Thor tuning. This is the greatest show tune of all time. Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? The rainbows are visions, but only illusions, and rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told, and some choose to believe it. I know the wrong way to answer. Every wish would be answered if we wished on the morning star. Somebody thought of that, someone believed it. Look where it's gotten us so far. What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? And why do we think we might see? Dreamer. 
daughters and me. Have you ever been half asleep? And have you heard voices? I've heard them call my name. Are these the voices? They call the young sailors. The voice might be one and the same. I've heard it too many times to ignore it. I know it's something I'm supposed to be. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. I'll do it again. You guys can sing all I want. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers. piano for you.
on guitar and piano or whatever list. Uh, this is a toy I got a couple, about two months ago, I guess. Uh, it's called a dulcimer. It's an instrument from the Appalachian Mountains. Beautiful little thing. Um, I found I found out about it through uh, the work of one Miss uh, Jillian Mitchell, who is one of my favorite singer songwriters of who is one of my favorite singer songwriters of all time. Um, Dad's rolling his eyes in the back. Uh, but she, but uh, the but um, hi again. Can you hear that? From the... Sorry, guys. Anyone who plays who plays an instrument has to be tuned knows my pain. There we are. Um, but it's a but uh, so she recorded an album called Blue. And she uses um, the dulcimer on a couple tracks from that album. That's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite albums of all time, so I got a dulcimer. Um, I'm going to be doing one of the songs off of Blue tonight, and this is a song called California, which is timely because I'm going to be going to California in just a couple weeks for my senior trip.
that's too much John Denver. Um, so I'm going to do, um, and this is an interesting song for me because it's kind of about, uh, a lot about uh, like how, where you're born, where you're from isn't necessarily where home is. You find a place that, uh, you find a place that you fall in love with and then that's really what home is. Um, and for me, it's, I think I found that in places like uh, Minnesota and Storm Lake. I just have fallen in love with those, those different, those um, kind of different places that are not necessarily here in Ankeny, but uh, I feel more at home there than I do anywhere else. So this is a, a song called Rocky Mountain High. He was born in the summer of his 27th year Going home to a place he'd never been before He left yesterday behind him You might say he was born again You might say he found the key to every door When he first came to the mountains His life was far away On the road hanging on But the string's already broken and he doesn't really care. Keeps changing fast and it won't last for long. But that Colorado Rocky Mountain High, I've seen a rain of fire in the sky. Shadow from the starlight, it's softening all about Rocky Mountain High. Saw silver clouds below. Saw everything as far as you can see. And then he said he got crazy once and he tried to touch the sun. And he lost a friend, but he gave the memory. And he walks in quiet solitude in the forest and the streams. Seeing grace in every step he takes. Side is turned inside itself to try and understand the serenity of the clear blue mountain lake. That color on the rocky mountain high. I've seen a rain of fire in the sky. Talk to God and listen to the casual reply. Rocky mountain high. A simple thing he cannot comprehend. Why the try to tear the mountains down to bring in a couple more? More people, more scars upon the land. The color on the Rocky Mountain High. I've seen a rain of fire in the sky. And I know he'd be a poor man if he never saw an eagle fly. Rocky Mountain High oh, Rocky Mountain So, if there was like a Chase Harrison's Greatest Hits collection, um, this would be, the next song here would be a song that would be on that. Uh, did it last year for my piano recital, which was the day after prom. Yes, <laughs> adventure. Oh um, 
Um, so, but I, I, I um, it's just chords, so we're fine. So it's a, uh, so this is a uh, song that was written by David Carr Glover. Um, Mr. Bear, do you know the whole story? You, you, you explained to me the story behind this piece, right? Um, you know the story behind? This composer, Glover, had a student in high school who wanted to quit piano. So he wrote this particular piece to keep him going. So this is a, a song. This is a, yeah. This is a song called uh, "Great Smoky Mountains," which kind of continues from Rocky Mountain High earlier. Um. Now I'm going to do for you a, uh, for going from what I did last year's piano recital to what I did for this year's piano recital, um, this is a, um, in 1966, uh, Brian Wilson recorded a, uh, started work on, Brian Wilson, first of all, is the, uh, was the lead singer and songwriter behind the Beach Boys, so he, uh, so he was a, uh, he, he's the one who did like the fun, 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 he wrote all that kind of stuff. He, he started working on a song called uh, Good Vibrations, which we, uh, you probably all recognize too. What's interesting about a Good Vibrations is he took, he recorded it in sections. He recorded all these little separate musical sections that he put together and, into what you hear on the record. Um, and he, so his whole goal was, so he tried to, so he tried to make a whole album based on that. That was to be called Smile. He worked on that with a, uh, with a song, with a uh, lyricist named Van Dyke Parks. Um, and we and so, but um, and I, he worked on that for about a year, and he had to stop working on it because it, he thought it was killing him to work on it. So he abandoned that forty years. So he abandoned that forty years later. Um, and forty-ish years later, he started to work on it again, and um, and uh, the, finished it and released it as Brian Wilson presents Smile. Um, so I, and then in two thousand eleven. The versions with the Beach Boys singing, what they had finished of uh, the Beach Boys singing, uh, it singing on it, they released that. They released that as well, so you can kind of get the two perspectives, the finished and the unfinished. Um, but uh, I'm going to be doing a sweep from that. Uh, there's a lot of themes woven into Smile, and it's a, uh, it's the concepts include um, American history, uh, physical fitness. Uh, <laughs> The importance of the importance of the elements. All of these different things are all woven into that, and uh, I'm be doing some pieces from that that hope to show that. Uh, first, I'll be doing Heroes and Villains, which is kind of like the centerpiece. The kind of like themes in, from Heroes and Villains repeat through the rest of the the rest of the album, the rest of the piece. Um, 
then I'm going that another as I said an important part was American history so he's included uh, melodies from folk songs uh, two uh, two folk songs the old master painter and um, you are my sunshine kind of like a downtrodden version of a you are my sunshine and finally um, the magnum opus the big big like showstopper piece from the album uh, surfs up which is kind of a uh, kind of a culmination of all of the themes that we've heard through and then it's kind of about uh, a guy who's at an orchestra and his thoughts while he's at an orchestra um so that's that's a uh, smile and i'm going to be doing that for you right now forgive me if it's shaky it's been like a week
Again, going with the one song, one song per songwriter rule, I could do like hours of songs by this guy, one of the greatest probably living songwriters. Um, this is a guy, uh, Paul Simon, Paul Simon. This is uh, so crazy after all these years. I think we need a little mood change for this one. I met my old lover on the street last night. She seemed so glad to see me. I just smiled. We talked about some old times when we drank ourselves some beers. Still crazy. I'm not the kind of man who tends to socialize. I seem to lean on old familiar ways. There ain't no fool for love songs that whisper in my ears. Still crazy after all these years. Oh, still crazy. a song that was written for open mic nights um so i uh so i've I, it's people fall in love with it and it's a great song it's um it was the version i learned was inter as interpreted by one of the single greatest um interpreters of a popular popular song to ever exist um one mr uh, jeff buckley um and this is a song called uh composed by Leonard Cohen, who has like a really neat baritone, I think most, most people who call their tenors, but you know, what do you do, what do you do? But it's a, uh, this is a song called uh, Hallelujah. Well, I heard in the wilds a secret call, they were played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for It goes like this The fourth, the fifth, the minor fall And the major lift Baffle, king, and boss Hallelujah 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 
Well, you're big and strong, but you need to prove your soccer and bathing on the roof. You know what? Beauty in the moonlight, I won't go through you. She tied you to the kitchen chair, she broke the throne, and she cut your hair. And from your lips, she drew the hallelujah. Babe, I've been in here before, seen this room, and I've walked this floor. You know, I used to be alone before I knew you. Seen your flag on the marble arm, and love is not a victory mark. It's a cold and it's a broken Well, there was a time when you let me know what's really going on below. Now you never show that to me, do you? But remember when I moved in you and I wanted that was new until Well, maybe there's a God above when all I've ever learned from love was how should somebody know I drew you? It's not a cry that you hear at night and it's not somebody who's seen the light. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. started his music in Kenny music and we gave him his first rhythm sticks when he was for Christmas on his second for his second Christmas and he played those rhythm sticks and moved into um, piano and drums and he's blown out lights in our house and, <laughs> uh, nice. but every time he plays our house is full of joy and I just want to thank you Chase for all the joy you brought to Keep us. Keep crying. <laughs> it's, 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 very, it's a very wonderful and exciting time for us. Um, we really don't know. We're going to miss him so much, but at the same time, we raised him to go out after his dreams. Your car. So, play your last song. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, there was one artist where it was really hard to pick what song to do. It was. Uh, 
the Beatles, who are probably my favorite. I mean, I have their the most of their music. I wouldn't. Um, they're my. They're, they pretty much are my favorite group of all time. Um, and uh, <laughs> um, the uh, and so so picking one of those songs is hard, but. Um, I'm gonna do tonight the one that I did my last open mic night as well, and it's like that ultimate kind of like sad, kind of melancholy ending song, just like um, moving on to a new, new moving on to a new place, but just always remembering the times. And um, this is a song off of their album Rubber Soul, and it's called In My Life. <laughs> There are places I'll remember all my life Though some have changed, some forever Not for better, some have gone And some remain, though these places have their moments With lovers and friends, I still can recall some are dead